Well here we go, back again with another video and I know Newcastle are on the verge of becoming the richest club in the entire world which, you know, I do wish them all the best but it is quite, a little, a little, it's a little bit upsetting, it's a little bit depressing because the state of Sunderland Football Club at this moment in time we, you know, it, it, it's in a bad mess so I hope you're all enjoying lockdown I hope you're all behaving nicely keeping your social distancing and I hope most of all you're all staying safe look after yourselves as I tried to say use that one bit of exercise a day get out there in the sunshine and enjoy yourselves I'm not trying to tell you what to do I'm just trying to be kind kind to one another right we have a little bit of what I'm talking about Stuart Donald yes Stuart Donald is coming to the, the forefront of people's minds over the last couple of days so the Daily, the daily Mail and the Times have allegedly, because I haven't read these articles themselves, have said that Stuart Donald could sell the club without paying back the £20 million debt which he borrowed to buy the club, if that's right. I'm not quite sure. But it's all allegedly, I don't know. And then today, Kieran Maguire, football finance expert, has come out and said this. So I'm going to read this through with you at this moment. And then afterwards, in the comment section below, you let me know what you think of Stuart Donald. You know, let's have it family friendly. Let's um, be objective. Is the, the times in the mail? Are, are, are they spinning a load of bull? Or is it correct? As I said, it's allegedly. Allegedly. So... It's a very messy finance, it's very messy, so we'll start again, it's very messy. Finance expert reveals exactly what Sunderland's 20.5 million financial hole means for the club and the takeover. Football finance expert Kieran Maguire has laid bare the very messy financial situation at Sunderland after it emerged there was a 20.5 million hole in the club's accounts. Now... People have called Donald a chancer and he hates being called a chancer. We all enjoyed Son Until I Die Season 2, where he came across as a bit of a novice. The Mail and the Times claimed that the 20.5 million gap in the balance sheet represents one of the parachute payments to the Black Cats, which were due following their relegation to the Premier League. The sum has previously been reported to have been used to facilitate Donald's purchase of the club for a sum of 40 million via his holding company Maddox Partners. Or Madrox Partner, should we say. And it goes on to say it was previously suggested that this money could or would be repaid by the shareholders, but the report claims that the money has now been written off by Stuart Donald and his fair shareholders, fellow shareholders, by way of an exceptional, exceptional operating expense, which removes their legal obligation to repay the money. Now, wouldn't it be nice if you could just say, right, I'm going to write off my mortgage. Yes, I owe such and such to the mortgage company. I'm going to phone up, say, the Leeds Building Society, and can I just write off my mortgage, please? I know it's a different... Uh, I'm just, I'm just talking off the top of my head like I usually do and words come out and they don't always make sense. Right, so Maguire of the University of Liverpool, so he's a clever bloke, has now explained exactly what these revelations mean for the club and what has happened to bring us to this point. He was speaking to talk sport. He said, the figures which have been seen and reported appear to indicate that Stuart Donald borrowed money effectively using the parachute payments to buy Sunderland from the former owner and he was going to repay the money at some point. It now appears that if these figures are accurate, he's saying that he's not going to repay the money. He's just not going to repay it. I'll just wipe it off. This one, you know, this one seems very un unusual. He continues to say it. It ties in with Rick Parry's comments about parachute payments earlier this week. He described them as an evil, and if they're going to be used to buy football clubs, it certainly isn't the original purpose. It's very messy. By all accounts, the only way Ella Short was prepared to write off all the money 
owed to him was if he was guaranteed some money coming back. But it looks like Stuart Donner now isn't going to keep his side of the deal and repair the loan. Naughty, naughty, naughty. Things just continually get worse for Sunderland Association Football Club. And will somebody come and buy the club now? This is going on. And with the club publicly up for sale, Maguire has revealed how this eight-figure gap will affect takeover talks. This is a huge repercussion for anybody buying Sunderland, he added. They have looked at the numbers and said, well, where's the money going to come from? They've got match day income, player sales, broadcast revenue and commercial revenue. But this would have been a huge number and it now appears it's not going to be received. In the club statement, responding to the claim, Sunland AFC said Madrox has continued to invest funds as required, which will be reflected in next year's figures. So we'll have to wait the next year. And in a way to ensure the club remains debt free as promised. This has resulted in SAFC receiving around 11.5 million since the year end from Madrox. The funds are interest free and replace a significant proportion of parachute monies. This takes the Madrox investment to around 25 million to date. This investment two years into the five year plan is ahead of schedule. So that's what Madrox have said. So who do we believe? Do we believe the Mail and the Times? Or do we believe what's going on with Stuart Donald and Madrox? Who do you believe? What's your comments? What do you think's going on? I mean, at this moment in time, under the current circumstances of lockdown and the coronavirus, I bizarrely really, I feel myself just like, not caring. It's either because of what's going on or three cans is that I'm not particularly bothered this moment in time. I just want it sorted out. I just want Stuart Donald to do the right thing, sell the club to the right buyers and get Sunderland Association Football Club back in where it belongs, at least the championship for starters. Stuart Donald, we all as Sunderland fans, we believed in you when you came to Sunderland. We wanted you to succeed. Don't let us down. Stuart, don't let us down. Don't fail. The wonderful Sunderland fans at Sunderland Association Football Club. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give me your comments on what you, your thoughts are in the, you know, in the, in the comments below, leave them down there, like the video, please subscribe to the channel and hopefully, you know, things can only get better. They have to, don't they? Stay positive, stay happy and most of all, stay safe and we'll catch you later. Thanks for watching.